Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I showed you how we can use a Python library called pubchem pi to scrape this pubchem database. In this case, we're looking at glucose. At the end of the last video, I suggested that you can write a regular expression to actually use that to scrape the synonyms and reproduce the cast numbers for glucose. And so we have one here. We have a few more in this list. And I felt kind of bad. And so I decided to quickly record another video showing a function that would do just that. The library for a refresher is this pubchem pi library. You can go and make sure you install it, import pubchem as PCP, and you have access to a lot of the documentation shown here. I covered this a little bit more in the last video. However, I really do encourage you to go and check it out for yourself. So in the last video, we went through a couple of quick examples of how to use the pubchem pi library, uh, very high level stuff. And then I suggested again that we could write a function to get the cast numbers. The reason being is that if we have our compound, let's say we're looking at glucose again, and we want to just look at glucose. So we, again, we go from this list to this compound data type, we can produce a list of synonyms. However, there are a number of list items in here that look like cast numbers. And so at the end of that video, I suggested, well, you could write a for loop to look through this list and extract all the cast numbers which is a good way to compare lists because these cast numbers tend to be more standardized than these other synonyms. So I wanted to create that. So let's make a list. And in this function, I wrote it out so that you could just see this, maybe screenshot it and use it later. But I wrote a function to find the cast numbers in a list. And so I was very explicit about the steps. We have this pattern. This is a common pattern for cast numbers. So we have a set of digits, usually two to seven, followed by a hyphen another capture group looking at the second group of numbers where we have now two digits followed by another hyphen and then a singular digit. And then we instantiate an empty list called cast numbers. From there, we will iterate through some data list that we will pass to this function, extract the cast numbers using our cast pattern. And then we'll take those matches, basically we produce the cast number and then return that as a list of cast numbers. And so let's see this list in action. Let's run our method called find cast numbers. And recall that this list is now stored as list. And if you look through, we have our three cast numbers. And so there's much more we could do with this. This is just one example of how we can take this data, build some tools around it that we've already shown in previous videos and get even more information out of it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.